What's up animators, welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful anime tips within 5 minutes. I'm sorry this is all I post right now, but I'm really busy with work. I'll try to make longer videos as soon as I get the time. Anyway, today we're talking about animated textures, so let's begin. The first thing you need to know is you need to have a bunch of animated skins ready. Oh, it opened on the second monitor. Let me just open this up with a software that doesn't compress the image. God damn it. This is what a player skin looks like. This is an unwrapped head, body, legs, arms. You're used to this. The textures I'm using are a courtesy of Magic Tete, who did something for Bean Bean. All credit for the textures goes to her. Thank you very much. But what you need is several of them. Each one of these skins is going to be one texture. If I open this up and just I'm pressing the left and right arrow so you can see the skin evolving. So each skin has a different stage of evolution, which is animated. That's pretty much it. And now all you got to do is apply this to your character. If you do this, you're going to make a lot of keyframes, which is going to make the character unanimatable. So I recommend you put this guy in a folder, rename him to the same thing as your main character. Be in smells. Haha, <laughs> got him. Because this is your character. This is the folder. However, the folder has all the same attribute as the character has and the character, well, he's gonna be occupied with the texture. You're gonna have a million keyframes in here. So first thing you need to do is a very tedious task is opening the resources and clicking this plus icon. Browse for your skin and import it as a texture. Okay, import the second one as a texture. Okay, import the third one as a te- there's no way to speed this up. Yep, this is why I became an animator. That's why I said they gotta fix it in my how to fix my animator video. You should watch it, it's very fun. Shameless self-promotion. I'm only gonna do 30 because it's a tedious task. I just wanna show you the process. Now select your character and in the first keyframe here, set a texture which is gonna be, why is this not in here? Should I set all of these as skins? Oh boy, I should set all these as skins. Be right back, I gotta do this all over again. Nimi, with all due respect, if you're watching this, please fix this in the next update. Okay, got him in this time. Now, let's try this again. Change the skin to number one. There we go. Move forward on the timeline. Change it to skin number two. Move forward, change it to skin number three. Yet again, it's a tedious process. However, this is gonna be a little bit faster. Anyways, let me speed this up now. When you play it, you get an animation of the skin animation. This is just the first bit. I think it's a transformation sort of thing. You can draw any kind of frames you want on your transformation thing. However, the reason you put this guy in a folder is so you can still animate the folder as if it was your main character. So you could add motion to this. When he is transforming into stuff, you kind of want him to still keep the character motion and stuff. So folders, folders are useful. So that's how you animate character textures and pretty much any other textures you can. Any texture at all, really, because even blocks support this except that it doesn't find it because if you import those textures you gotta s import them as a texture here or a block sheet just be careful what you use here otherwise you're gonna be doing it twice just like i did before yes thank you for watching hope you learned a thing or two thanks for watching hope this video was helpful if it was drop a like thanks for watching stay sharp